Salam people of Earth, welcome to Learn the Mark with me, Christian. And today we're going to learn the conditional tense of to eat. Okay? Now, what is conditional tense? Conditional tense is a tense that speculate uh, what could happen or what might have happened or what we wish would happen. That is what conditional tense is. And there is the if clause and the main clause. We really don't have to go all through all that because in, in, in Amharic, there is no such thing. There's only one magic word that's going to make your tense uh, to conditional tense. So in English, we use the word if, right? In order to make our conditional tense, we use the word if. And in Amharic, it is no row. No row. Say it again. No row. That is the magic word. Okay? Then you put that word after any verb or any sentence. It's going to dramatically make it conditional tense. Fabulous. Now, let's go through it. Let's try to conjugate it and see what the conditional tense of Amharic will look like. Okay. So, it is... If I ate, or if I would ate, okay? That's what we're seeing now. So, bibela no ro. Bibela no ro is if I ate, or if I would ate, okay? Um, you, for you. Bitibela no ro. Okay, now right here for you, the, the masculine and the feminine, feminine, you is the same, okay? How you say it is a, it is the same. So, bitibela no ro. Bitibela no ro is if you ate or if you would eat, okay? Now, for he, if he ate or if he would eat is bibela no ro. Bibela no ro. For she, Bitibela no ro. Bitibela no ro. If you notice, the you and the she way of saying the conditional tense is the same. For you, you say bitibela no ro. And for she, you say bitibela no ro. It is the same. Now, we, if we ate or if we would eat, binibela no ro. Binibela no ro. Nice. They. Bibalu no ro. Bibalu no ro. And respectful way of saying it is the same as they. So bibalu no ro. Bibalu no ro. Fabulous. Now let's go all over it again. Please don't forget to repeat after me. I, this is going to be how I'm going to say repeat after me from now on. Just to make it my signature way of saying that. Okay, let's go ahead. Um, I, if I ate or if I would eat. Bibela no ro. Bibela no ro. You. Bitibela no ro. Bitibela no ro. He. Bibela no ro. Bibela no ro. She. Bitibela no ro. Bitibela no ro. We. Binibela no ro. Binibela no ro. They. Bibelu no ro. Bibelu no ro. And respectful way of saying it. Bibelu no ro. Same as they. Fabulous. Now let's take some example, okay? Example one. If I ate breakfast, course bibela no ro. Course bibela no ro. Now, course is breakfast. Bibela no ro is if I ate, okay? Or if I would eat. Course bibela no ro. Example two. If we ate sweet, if we ate sweet, Afaj binibela noro. Afaj 
is sweet. Binibela noro is if we ate. Tafat binibela noro. Example three. If he ate fast. If he ate fast. Tolo tolo bibela noro. Tolo tolo bibela noro. Or befit net bibela noro. I say this in my other video. Both of them have the same meaning. It's just if you are beginner and if you have hard time pronouncing befit net, then you can use tolo tolo. That's why I put tolo tolo first and befit net second. But it really doesn't matter. The meaning is the same and we're going to understand what you want to say. Um, yeah, that would be it. That is the conditional tense. That is actually the five tense. I, uh, this is the final um, video of to eat. I did all the five tenses and I make sure to put the same example in each tenses just so if you want to go back and look what is the difference and you know try to understand it it will be a lot easier if the examples are the same. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you like it don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe, touch the notification button and stuff like that. Let me know, go down, comment, tell me what you eat, what you've been eating, and all the good stuff. Awesome. Bye. See you in my other video.